what was your biggest academic adjustment to medical school and how did you overcome it? I can attest to the whole time management organization. I mean, you think, well, I can't really say for me, I was always that, but I mean, even people think that they are, you come to find out that you still can improve in some way or not. And I'm very thankful with um, for the CAS session and Dr. Zeltner. Um, um, just uh, um, the way of approaching exam type questions is a skill and how you, like, what are you thinking when you read this question? And just to try to figure out what is being asked is a skill. So, you know, um, just medical school alone and how to establish timetables and schedules and how to be realistic about setting up your day, taking care of your body, holistically looking at it from an approach that this team win. Um, I think they help you quite a bit with that. And it helps you to be able to manage a little bit um, uh, the, the pressure and the load of medical school. Um, um, even with cash sessions, um, just testing anxiety, you know, um, I remember my first semester, we got sitting on, on a class, a cash session, and you had to take an actual test in an environment with you know, noise and water and <laughs> it's like marine type environment where you have to survive. So I think definitely it, it helps you develop that strength you need to deal with the, the environment for medical school. For me, um, I'm still figuring it out. Honestly, I think that every semester is an adjustment and you just kind of fine tune your studying process as you go. Um, and there's no shortage of research uh, of resources here to figure out how to do that. Uh, because how you study for cardio isn't going to really going to be at all how you study for heme or for GI. And so every, every unit kind of takes a different approach. Well, at least, at least for me, it has, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I there and just be like I. One of the biggest things is um, having that constant reminder to be flexible, and that's that's what I've done. And um, and uh, some of the other resources on campuses. While like I'm, I'm happy to say that I have no shame in saying that I've gone to the school counselor when I've dealt with the stress, and she's even sat down with me like and watched me how I was studying just to kind of say, okay, like I can see here's where you're getting stressed and here's where you're and so, like helping me work through that. And there's just all the resources here that are available. And I've used the Center for Academic Success as well, but there's, yeah. yeah. I think it's really important to accentuate that all of our, our faculty and we, we like Jennifer said, we have a, we have a full-time um, director of counseling and wellness. All of our faculty, all of our colleagues, all of our staff here are full-time. We live here. And, and, and so we're part of this community. We're part of this place. And that is so important. You know, a lot of, a lot of different institutions have people that visit and come in and out, but we're here and we're stable. And I couldn't be more proud of the supportive and consistent environment that we provide for students. Uh, so as you're working through your growth, you know, you always have those people to come and we're always here. We're always here for the students for, to support them and for them to come talk to us. Mm -hmm.